To a man with one testis, it is usually frightful and a lot of thoughts keep going through this man's mind. Questions like, oh, will I be able to give birth? What if my partner sees that I have one testis? Will she date me? Will she get married to me? And also they keep wondering, what about if I'm taking a shower, I'm in the gym with my friends and they notice that I have one testis? Will they not laugh at me? These are the questions that keeps going through this particular man's mind. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be taking that questions which someone asked. He was like, can a man with one testis impregnate a lady? Can a man with one testis impregnate a lady? So if you are a man with one testis, this video is for you. If you are a lady and you are dating someone with one testis and you are like, can this man get me pregnant? This video is going to be enlightening for you. And if you want to know more about what testis is and also the function of this testis, this video is for you. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not miss mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like earlier said today i'm going to be talking about testes i'm going to be answering that particular question which says can a man with one testes impregnate a lady first of all for those that don't know what testes is we should start from that the first question is what is a testis a testis is an egg shaped gland is what is an egg shaped gland that is found in a man it is not found in a woman it's an egg-shaped gland that is found in the scrotum of a man and it produces what it produces sperm and male hormones it is an egg-shaped gland found in the scrotum of a man that produces um, the sperm and also produces the male hormones normally men are born with two testes so i believe most of the men watching this video they understand perfectly well what i am saying because it is in their body but i'm going to be dropping a picture as you can see on the screen to explain it so men are usually born with two one there's something about a man's testes that you should know when a man is growing in the mother's womb the testes are usually in the abdomen, in the stomach, in the abdomen, around the abdominal region. But when it's time for this child to be born, the testes moves into the scrotum. So in a situation where the testes does not move fully into the scrotum, it results in undescended testes. Now, so first thing I want you to know is what a testis is is a gland that produces what is a gland that produces sperm and it also produces the male hormone. The testes are two in number and they are found in the scrotum of a man. And during pregnancy, the testis is in the abdomen of a man. That this is the baby. The abdomen of a baby is where the testis is located. But when your child is not getting ready to be born, the testis move from the abdomen to the scrotum. Do you understand now? So there are various reasons why a man should have one testis, why a man can have one testis. The first is undescended testis. For those that are for those that are nurses and midwife, you notice that whenever a child is born, a male child is born, they usually check the scrotum. They check, oh, is the testis complete? So when they feel it, they see two testes. They're like, okay, good. This male child is good to go. But if they check those the scrotum and they found out that the testes are not complete, the man is having only one testis instead of the two. This time, they have to see a doctor to know if they can perform surgery to bring the testes down. So, undescended testes at birth 
can lead to what a man having one scrotum in life. Then another cause of undetected, unde, undescended testes is surgical remover. Surgical remover. For example, a man has an infection of the testes. A man has um, an infection of the testes, cancer of the testes, injury to the testes. This can lead to what? Removal of the testes. And when there is removal of the testes, the man is said to have either one or no testes. Because depending on how many testes have been removed. I hope you are following with the class now. That takes us to the question, can a man with one testes give birth to a child? The answer is yes. Same way a human being, a man, a woman with one kidney can survive. That is the same way a man with one testis can also survive and impregnate a lady. When a, somebody has kidney issues, one of the kidneys are removed, and this person has one that is functional, one that is effective, this person can also function effectively well with just one kidney. Same happens when somebody's testis is being removed, when one of the testis is being removed. So this man can still produce the sperm. This man can still produce testosterone. This man can still function as function effectively well and impregnate a lady. As far as this particular man does not have any underlying health conditions, any infertility problem, that one testicle can what can impregnate a lady. So, if you are a lady, you are dating a man with a te one testicle, that doesn't mean he cannot impregnate you. He can. Because that one testicle can still function. That one testicle can still produce the sperm that is needed to impregnate you as a lady. So, that is not a reason, that is not a criteria for you to leave a man that you truly love. So for the men that are worried, I think that has answered your question. You can actually and perfectly well impregnate a lady with what, um, with one testis. So going through, um, I've, having come in contact with some men with one testis from the messages I got, I found out that most men with one testis usually have um, this low surface thing. I understand perfectly well why they feel that way. They feel, oh, they will not be loved genuinely. They will be pitied. That can even lead to depression. And that can affect their mental health. I just wanted to let you know that same way all other humans function effectively well, that is the same way you can function effectively well as a man. As far as you don't have any underlining condition or any underlining infertility problem. So what I want you to do is to boost your self-esteem. You are still a man. You are nothing less than a man. You are a real man. Same way with the men with two testes. So what I would advise, try as much as possible to boost your self-esteem. That should not in any way affect your thinking or mental ability. And also, as a man, you know you just have one left. So we have to take care of that one. So what I advise, always do some testicular check. So we know that this particular one um, sperm, it's safe. So for those that have the two testes removed, they cannot give birth to their biological children. For those that have the two testes removed, they cannot give birth to their biological children. Why? Because there's nothing to produce sperm. There is nothing to produce the sperm hormone, uh, male hormones that are responsible for giving birth. So what people normally do, depending on the country you are and where you are located, technology is taking over. What people normally do is that they, they bank their sperm before the surgery. The sperm that is remaining in their testes, that is there in their testes, they bank the sperm. They froze the sperm before any surgery that would remove the, the 
the sorry the yeah before any surgery that will remove the testes so they froze this sperm for future use so they can use this sperm for in vitro fertilization and be able to have a children and be able to have children of their own so if you know you are going for a surgery you are going for a radiation therapy or something that you know that's likely going to damage um the testes the full testes your your sperm is advisable you bank your sperm you froze them so that you will be able to use them in the future for in vitro fertilization and have kids of your own so this is all i have to share with you today and i hope this class help you with your fears and your tension and also help you know that being a man with one testis a man with two testis you can also impregnate a lady thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this short video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary saying what? This is not Miss Mary ever saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.